this is one that I definitely, definitely don't want my mom to see. So before I worked on cars, I had a uh, business renting scooters to uh, people in New York. So I worked with a friend and uh, we would rent Vespas and, and whatnot to uh, tourists because they love Europe. They love, uh, you know, zipping around on uh, you know, these small little scooters and New York was a perfect place because parking is a problem. In order for me to do that, I had to also ride the scooters every once in a while because if you have to pick something up, maybe it's easier to ride and you wanna make sure that you don't have the liability of not having a motorcycle license. In order to get the motorcycle license, you have to uh, take a test and I was in New Jersey at the time. New Jersey has this weird loophole that you can take the motorcycle test, uh, a test that makes you eligible to ride a, what's essentially a 1,000 cc motorcycle, which makes crazy amount of power, it can go 200 miles an hour. You can ride one of those if you get a license that you took on a 50 cc scooter that goes a maximum of 35 miles an hour and it's nothing like a motorcycle. Uh, it's automatic and it's, it's completely different than any street bike. I, I took it on an 80cc scooter, so that was the one with a little more power. It was an old 80s, uh, 80s Honda Elite, and uh, it's super easy to ride, uh, so the license was super easy to get. And um, I decided that since I knew how to ride that scooter, I could ride a bike. I mean, I knew how to drive a manual car, I understood the mechanics of it, I knew how an engine worked, I knew how a clutch worked. It wasn't rocket science. So uh, I said to my friend who had a uh, bike of his own, uh, he was the, uh, the owner of the business, he had a 250 Kawasaki Ninja. And that was basically the, the bottom of the sport bikes. I mean, it, this was, you could not, this is Weenie Hut Juniors. I decided that if I could ride a bike, if I wanted to learn how to ride a bike, this would be the perfect starter point. We're in his backyard. And I got on the bike and he was, just telling me what to do. And in my mind, it all made sense. I said, okay, I'm just gonna let the clutch out really quick, really, really smoothly. Uh, the throttle, just roll it on a little bit. You know, I knew the basics of how to drive a manual car. However, when your body takes over, the, the weirdness between your, your arm, your hand doing this, and then your hand doing this, it's like, if you're not ready for what happens when the, the thing underneath you starts moving, then things get really squirrely real fast and then your body doesn't know how to react. So if you haven't had a lot of seat time on a bike, uh, I hadn't had a lot of seat time in a scooter at that point. I mean, I I'd literally just took the test and that was it. I, I wasn't planning on actually riding anything for a long period of time. And uh, after a, crash course, let's, there's a serendipitous uh, name for it. I just roll on throttle, ease out the clutch, at least to what I thought was easing out the clutch. And this bike takes off. This bike takes off and the force of the bike uh, pushing me forward made me grip onto the handlebars. And when I gripped onto the handlebars, since the throttle is on the handlebars, I put the throttle to basically just wide open throttle. And of course I let out the clutch. So the bike just went straight at full speed into a chain link fence. The chain link fence was about, I'd say 25 feet ahead of me. So I didn't have a ton of room to accelerate. I mean, this was a 250 after all, it wasn't like a 600 or a thousand or something where I probably would have gotten seriously injured, but it's 250. So let's say I, would, I hit this thing doing a good 20, 25 miles an hour. And since it's a chain link fence, it had a, had a bit of give. If it was a, a wooden fence, like a white picket fence, I would have gone straight through it. It would have been like a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. It would have been just hilarious. But I went through a chain link fence, it absorbed the impact and the bike just fell on me between my legs. For some reason, I had the throttle still stuck wide open while I was on the ground and the wheel was just going crazy. And then afterwards, uh, I finally took my hand off the throttle and uh, realized that I just crashed the bike. Uh, it's one of those things where after you're in a car crash or something, you're like, all right, is everything here? Is, is anything broken? <laughs> am I okay? Am I, am I still conscious? Is this heaven? Have I ascended? And everything was okay, uh, but the bike was now laying on top of me. And uh, I think I either got a burn or a bruise on my inner thigh just from the bike hitting me. But I look over and my friend, I, 
I don't think I've ever seen anybody laugh this hard. I, I thought he would legitimately be, I, I'd have to call an ambulance because he, he, he would not stop laughing. It was, the, it was the funniest thing. I mean, to this day, if, when he sees this video, he's just not gonna stop laughing. To this day, if I, if I ever bring it up, it's just like milk shoots out the nose. I finally got the bike off, uh, off myself and uh, realized that, you know, I was just kind of bruised and, and whatnot, but uh, everything was fine. Uh, I had grass, grass all over my, uh, my jeans. Uh, the only thing broken was just my, my shattered ego. So uh, yeah, the, the, the bike was fine, the bike was fine. He said that the funniest thing, it wasn't when I hit the fence, uh, the funniest thing was the look of, the, the second when I realized that I have lost control of this bike. I was so confident when I was on the bike, and then the second I lost that confidence, the look in my eyes, it went from, <laughs> it went from mild confidence to crazy fear in, in, in the span of a millisecond. That is the first time I rode a bike, and um, it really scared me later on because afterwards I was just recalling in my head, you know, after I was tending to my bruise, I just realized if I had done that on a street, I would have hit a car. I would have, I would have hurt myself. I would have gotten road rash, or I could have literally died. So uh, that just prompted me to um, to make a decision in my life. Uh, it, it came uh, with a heavy heart, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not riding bikes anymore. So that's, that's uh, just a thing that I'm gonna do. I'm very scared of them. And uh, that is my reason. And I, now I have a phobia, but uh, yeah, um, bikes are still pretty cool though. <laughs> uh, but the business was fairly successful. I mean, uh, it was the only rental business for scooters in New York City. And it was like, is this weird loophole that we actually were in New Jersey and you can't have a scooter rental business in New York because of liability, like uh, no insurance company would uh, would handle it. But uh, since we were in New Jersey and we deliver them to New York, that's how that's how it all worked. But uh, it was it was a weird kind of you know a business made in the cracks of regulation. Uh, no nobody nobody got hurt, which is which is good. A liability was a concern for me, but uh, especially with my history of bikes. But it was yeah, um, it all it all worked out pretty well. I think my friend is uh, still doing that to this day. I'm not sure how he's doing. I'm, I assume he's doing fine. Over the last few years, we've all heard a lot about ceramic coatings, and personally, I've always been pretty skeptical. It just seems like some sort of super wax or some kind of witchcraft that my detailer tries to upcharge me for. But the guys at Avalon King sent me an email and said they wanted me to try theirs out. So they sent me some of the stuff, and they agreed to support our channel this month. So I appreciated that. But I'm still not really sure. I mean, they tell me that if you've got some Kimmy Light girl dancing all over your Lamborghini when it's rented out for a rap video, or if you're trying to protect the front of your car from all the bugs it's going to hit during a cannonball, or even if you just really don't like cleaning your car, it supposedly makes all that easier. So I have no idea if it's going to work, but I'm about to go try it out on the Porsche, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I appreciate their support of the channel this month, and if you'd like to try it out for yourself, there's a link in the description below.